Welcome to a back to school supply shopping vlog, of course, because we are school supply shopping and that gives me a little bit of anxiety. We are going to start off with some caffeine and cake pops for the kids. Here's to a cheers. Hubby came along with me. He will only shop for supplies, not clothes. I'll take whatever I can get as far as help because I'll let you know right now I did have a little bit of a breakdown. Let's get into this vlog. Number one thing on my mind when I'm returning back to school is pens. I love pens. I have to say I'm a simple girl. I was looking for some RSVP type pens. Last year I did grab, oops, <laughs> last year I did grab these Papermate pens and I enjoyed them but they are just a little too marker-ish if that makes sense. I'm not a huge fan of using Sharpies because they really only work on a certain type of thick, thicker type paper and so that's kind of a no-go for me. So I'm going to pass on those. So we are also supply shopping for the kids as well. So there's some things that we have to get. This one's my favorite I think that's just a whole eraser. That's cute. But that's just a big eraser. Is it a real pencil? No, it's um, all an eraser. Yeah. So like, the erasers could pink, but you can make an eraser be like black. Or yeah. yeah, I thought these erasers were super, super cute. And I'll show you the pencils that my kids picked out. Actually, they're going to do their own vlog over on our family channel sharing all of their school supplies. So, school supplies for second grade and seventh grade. I really like those pencils, but I really have no big use for pencils this year. Okay, so yeah, this is when my anxiety starts kicking in. And I guess like the reality of returning back to school kicks in when you see the hand sanitizer. I don't know, I'm just traumatized from last year. It was like holding my breath the whole year. Give me a thumbs up if you agree or just to wish me luck this year and to wish my kiddos luck, all the students luck. I think we all, staff, students, parents, all the way around, we just really need some good vibes. So click the thumbs up for that. These glue sticks, I mean, the stuff they come up with, I gotta get them. I gotta get them. There's my little list running. I mean, how do you go basic when you can go scented? I'm not sure. A good pair of scissors, kind of one that stands out, is really great for a social worker as well. Um, just kind of a little heads up. I tend to use scissors more than I expect when I'm working. Yes, planners. So I did kind of sift through the spirals and I have to tell you, even though they're cheaper, it's not, when you're doing documentation, you just need something fun to write with and to write in. So I'm not satisfied quite yet. I'm gonna keep shopping around. As far as for my pens, I am gonna keep it pretty basic this year. I just want a really good black pen and I have to say, I'm gonna go ahead and skip on the pilots, which I typically go for, and I'm gonna grab some of these paper mates. Yeah, so we're gonna go kind of basic this year with three just basic black pens. I'll probably head back and grab some blue ones because sometimes you need to sign things in blue. So I already am making a list as I am editing this vlog of things that I still need to go back and get. So here are some more spiral options, but I have to say it's just lugging around, and I know it's just a spiral, but honestly, sometimes I don't, I carry a lot of things, and I carry everything in a, like a tote bag. Yeah, there's the bag. And so spirals like that take up so much space. I'm really looking for something a little bit smaller. I love these, what are they called? Composition books. I love these composition books. Really cool. This one says notes on it. But my second test is, is it college ruled? I, I really cannot write on wide ruled paper. Um, those are really cool. And they're not bright enough for me. Again, something fun, colorful, vibrant, 
in my particular color. I always have a color that stands out to me that I go for. Um, it's been purple or like lavender in the past. I also went like a bright fuchsia. Oh my God, butterflies. Butterflies are so my thing. But I do remember that I did order a bunch of organizers already. And so I don't really think I'm gonna take this with me. step away from the butterfly stuff yeah it is so so cute but i'm gonna i'm gonna draw, i'm gonna step away now because this is about the time that i started getting my anxiety <laughs> called hubby over because just looking at school supplies oh my gosh it is overwhelming I want all the things and then I know just I know in my heart that the price tag is piling up Ooh, I'm gonna want a water bottle as well but I really think I'm gonna choose one off of Amazon I do have an Amazon faves like an Amazon I'm not sure what it's called a shopping mm basically a place where I put all of my Amazon favorites and I found a water bottle on there that is my favorite it's kind of like a motivational type water bottle to help you stay on track throughout the day with your water drinking so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold out for that okay our basket is full and we are on our way out a little behind the scenes of some Stuff I couldn't pass up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and it, at the very least, I hope that it gets you inspired to go back to school shopping. Maybe later I will do a whole unpacking of all my supplies. Um, if that's something you'd like to see next, let me know. Until next time, I'm wishing you social work success. <laughs>